Good day, viewers. I am Ambassador Tessis Anisi, Special Advisor to the President on Education of ECOWAS Youth Council. I welcome you today to our one and only platform, ECOWAS Youth Council Leadership Series. ECOWAS Youth Council Leadership Series is a platform where we bring business influencers, leaders, business owners all across the Af African country, ECOWAS country, Kumwama, and encourage our young people. Here we may have a guest, but before I introduce my guest, I'd like to go on a short break. Welcome back to our one and only platform, Echo Youth Council. I still remain Ambassador Tosis in Um I'd like my guest to introduce himself. Please kindly introduce yourself, sir. Thank you very much, Ambassador. My name is Alea Ali Kagbo. I am a proprietor and travel director. Tourism is Life Tours, based in Sierra Leone. Uh, I do have uh, a ground in Liberia and uh, Guinea, so I operate tours in Liberia and Guinea. But I also do the West Africa tour, so I have itinerary for all the countries in West Africa. You can do West Africa within 42 days, and I have contact in all these uh, other places in West Africa. As currently, I serve as the Vice President of uh, West Africa Tour Guide Association. Notwithstanding, I am pushing to promote uh, the youth in West Africa, making sure that uh, tourism grow and they benefit from the growth of tourism. Oh, thank you. Um, so far, so good. You've been around West African countries. You've been around West African country. How many people have been tourism center do the tourism center can you how many young people can you employ at the tourism center that is a very good one as you know tourism one of the big benefits of tourism is employment because tourism creates employment and the beneficiary of that employment is the youth it's rather unfortunate most of uh, the uh, employers they are looking at education, education. But tourism has three levels of employment. You have the uh, highly skilled, you have the uh, media uh, skill, and then you have uh, the other people who are on skill. Uh, because in tourism, you have so many jobs. Looking from uh, the tour guides, going to the uh, hotel, you have the receptionist, you have the back office people who learn how to do cleaning the, uh, the rooms and also uh, cooking, all these other people. You can find all these jobs in tourism. You have the accountants, you have the managers. So tourism uh, open up and create a lot of jobs for the youth. Tourism is the highest employer of labor the world over. So uh, the youth stand to benefit if we position West Africa very well. What do you mean by if we position West Africa very well? What's your opinion? What What do you mean by that word, if we? Okay. So, uh, are, we not pro are, are we not positioning very well? So, positioning in this sense, uh, I'm looking from a marketing point of view. Most times, uh, when uh, you go to the media, what you hear about uh, West Africa is about war, it's about poverty, it's about epidemic. But Africa offers more, much more than that. Uh, because I think we, our promotion is very low in terms of letting the world know what Africa, especially West Africa, can offer in terms of tourism. Uh, we have very beautiful beaches. We have a very good uh, serene environment. We have also wildlife. So as a result of all these things, these are the reasons why tourists travel to other countries like the Caribbean or the uh, European countries. So Africa can offer more better than that. We have the sunshine, we have the beaches, we have different animals that are uh, endangered species. Like Sierra Leone, for example, let's look at Tiwai Island. You can find the pygmy hippo in Tiwai Island, in Liberia and the Côte d'Ivoire. You cannot find pygmy hippo any other place in the world. Mm. That is a, a, a single reason that people come to Sierra Leone and Liberia and uh, uh, the Côte d'Ivoire, but unfortunately, yeah, people don't come as we have loved them to come. Look at the beaches, River Number Two, one of the best beaches in the world. Unfortunately, at times you go there, it's deserted. 
So that is something. So what do you have for the young people? How can you encourage the young people to promote uh, more of tourism? And um, what's, what's your encouragement towards the young people being involved in tourism? Oh, that's good. The involvement. It comes uh, on two angles. On, in, in terms of the involvement, you have the educational side. Because uh, you have to understand the tourist mentality so that you will be able to contribute positively. And uh, I am encouraging our young youth to go and learn about tourism and hospitality management so that they will be able to serve uh, the people coming to visit. And then after that, you have the entrepreneurial side wherein I will encourage all West Africans, particularly Sierra Leoneans, to invest in tourism uh, because uh, we have a lot to offer. We have the beaches, we have the mountains, we have ecotourism, we have uh, 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 baths and a lot of things to offer. But uh, the investment in tourism is very low and uh, we do not have indigenous investing in tourism. We have uh, other people, which is very good if other uh, nationalities invest in tourism. But um, I would love to see more of our local uh, people investing in tourism because they will show more ownership.